Monday, stunning sell off of gold and silver, new signs of global, global economic weakness until deeper fears following the afternoon Boston Marathon attack. New York Federal Reserve survey pointed to a weakening of U.S. manufacturing sector. <laughs> the Standard & Poor's 500 stock index fell 2.3% on the day, ever declined to most international stock markets. Hmm. Well, uh, most of the drop-off occurred before the uh, bomb in Boston, but afterwards, 10 more t points fell before the market closed. Prices for major commodities included oil, copper, copper fell significantly, if less dramatically than the price of gold. Treasury bonds rallied and investors thought safety. That's another thing, when people expect this problem, they buy Treasury bonds. Because they're the best thing in the world if you're going to trust human beings. <laughs> That's as good as you can do. <clears throat> and the opposite of that pattern is underway now with gold prices plummeting, even as the economic outlook becomes murkier. The Chinese economy, economy while still growing rapidly, is not accelerating. Its first quarter growth was at a 7.7% annual rate, down from 7.9% at the end of 2012. Analysts have uh, cited speculation of Cyprus. The island nation enduring a banking crisis would sell off some of its gold holdings, putting downward pressure on prices and perhaps triggering sales by other governments end up getting bailout agreements. The sell-off in commodities appears to be an overreaction to recent events. China's economy, a key user of industrial commodities, had an unexpectedly weak quarter, but investors had three months to retract, react to the performance. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, chaos in the international brain. Well, the old barometer says, uh, look like poop to me.